In other news tonight, in a letter to the editor titled A Mother's Anger, Sharon Adelaide took issue with the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and its assistance to her son who was being held in custody in Haiti. Christopher Adelaide was a pilot who reportedly went to Haiti to pick up a colleague when they were detained back in 2014. The mother says he was sick and needed medication for blood clots, but he didn't receive the necessary medical care and died in custody. The mother also claims that Haitian officials made bribe requests, which she says were passed through foreign affairs. In setting the record straight, Foreign Affairs Minister the Honorable Fred Mitchell says there is, there is a paper trail which of all communications between his office and the Adderley family and he responded to each request. He also cleared the air with regards to those bribe allegations. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs, the officer who dealt with this matter, including the ambassador and the Defense Royal Bahamas Defense Force officer have all provided reports with regard to this matter. They know nothing of passing any bribes to Haitian officials. All the receipts which I have here and I brought here and I intend to lay them over show that there were, uh, there were funds transmitted to pay lawyers in Haiti. That's it. The ha lawyers came, they signed for it, it's all there, it's all receipted. The other receipts show that monies were spent to, for their personal effects, sometimes buying food. People think that if you, that the Ministry of Foreign Affairs has the responsibility, has the responsibility when it offers consular services, has the responsibility to <coughs> find the lawyer, pay the lawyer, hold your hand, all sorts of things. What the ministry has a responsibility to do is to make sure that to the extent that they can, to work with the officials, that your family is in touch with you, that you're not abused as far as we can tell, and that you are not left alone, so to speak. The record will show what, uh, what efforts were taken uh, on the part of the, of the mission in Haiti to deal with this matter. Now, Mitchell also noted that the other man being held in Haiti, along with Adderley, shared a different story. I'm saying the co-defendant disagrees with that version of the facts. And the unfortunate thing about this now is, having put this in the public domain, are they also saying that the other man was involved in passing bribes to Bahamian officials? One has to be really careful about the things you assert and say.